Hello. <laughs> hey, everybody, can we have your attention for a second? We know everybody's having a great time, but we'd love to just chat with you for a few minutes. Hi, everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm go like, ahead. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, now that we're being nice people. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome. We just want to have your attention for a few minutes, just have a couple of announcements to make, and just want to welcome everybody. So, welcome to the 2012 East Coast Tour de Pink. <laughs> Give yourself a hand. I'm Lisa Frank. I am the board president of YSC, and I'm one of the co-founders of the Tour de Pink. And this is Jennifer Merschdorf, our CEO of Young Survival Coalition. So welcome, and thank you all very, very much for being here. We just have a few quick words to say, and then we're going to have some official announcements from some of our folks who you'll see along the route all day, um, all weekend, who will help you to have a very enjoyable experience. So first, we want to welcome you and do our obligatory logistics and thank you. This ride is not possible without all of you. And it's also not possible without our wonderful sponsors. So the first thing we'd like to do is acknowledge our sponsors who have donated money to make this event possible. Emergency, Celgene, Live Giant, who is represented here, Oakley, Unite for Her, in the NYU Langone Medical Center. Our in-kind sponsors who've made some of the lovely goodies that you all have with you possible, Hutchinson, the pink tires, PG-13 Graphics, which is Eldon, who will be riding and does our signage and many other wonderful things, and you'll see his fabulous tricked out pink bike. Shimano, who donated uh, shoes for many of the survivors who are riding this year. Community Chiropractic Center, Dr. Mark, who you'll see along the route, who is our fabulous chiropractor. And the L Center for Breast Health, which is Dr. Lori, who is our uh, physician along the route. So welcome. I know there's a lot of returning riders here this year, and there's a lot of new folks. So all of you who have taken the leap and are new to Tour de Pink this year, welcome. You'll have an amazing experience. Feel free to lean on any of the returning riders, returning volunteers, and the staff for anything you need. This is going to be an amazing weekend for an amazing cause. And if there's anything we can do to make it easier for you, just let us know. Uh, most of you know what YSC is all about. Um, but what we'd like to do first is just have Jen talk to you a little bit about why we're here and what the organization is. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here, uh, for making this event possible, and for your incredible support of the Young Survival Coalition. Uh, YSC is, is really about three main things. It's about education so that young women that are diagnosed with breast cancer understand what tools they need so that they can be empowered to have the best possible treatment um, and decisions made. And thirdly, it's about community. And the community, uh, you can really feel it here. YSC had a, uh, had a rough week this week. Um, some of you know two women that we lost, and it's very, been very hard for everybody. But our, our job this weekend is to continue to, to grow and strengthen our community, to support each other, and to celebrate life. Um, so with that, I uh, am excited to announce that I am riding this year. Yay! I'll be the one way in the back, um, with me. probably with Lisa, <laughs> but I'll be smiling, and we're going to get through it. Um, so I just wanted to have an opportunity to thank everybody and I'm really looking forward to the weekend. So Excellent. now we have some logistics. Thanks, Jen. Okay, logistics. First of all, one of the things, you all know this is really important. You all know why you're here. We've raised a ton of money, and you're all here for a very important reason. But you're also here to have fun. So one of the things I really want to impress upon everybody is know your limits, do what you can do. There, you're going to see folks, there are folks here who race. Okay, they race on a regular basis. If they're up front and they're going fast, that's their thing. And that's great, and we love them for that. And they're also holding back, and they'll help all of us who can't ride as fast as them. Then there's going to be folks who are way at the back, like me and Jen, come join us. <laughs> and uh, we're just doing as much as we can. Do what you can. This is a fully supported ride. If you can't do something, you don't feel up to it, you get in the van, you hang out, 
there's plenty of things to do. And I, I just want to make sure that everybody's safe and everybody has a good time and just do what you want. This is all about being here, being part of this community, and doing what you want to do in these three days. We want to ride, we want to raise money, but we want everybody to be safe and we want everybody to really enjoy the community. I always say, if, and I think that at the end of these three days, you will all agree that if we could have this community that we create in these three days, every day of our lives, the world would be a much better place. <laughs> now, logistics. So a couple of things. Um, bike storage. There is no bike storage in that lovely room where all those amazing people have been helping you. Um, they're there to put the tires on, help you with your bikes. Your bikes should be taken to your room. They should not be left in that room for bike storage. Uh, tomorrow morning's breakfast is in Salon H upstairs. At breakfast, there is a mandatory rider meeting at 7.30. That's where you'll get a lot of information that you're not going to get tonight. John will be talking to you. John and Robin will tell you a little bit tonight about what's happening tomorrow, but that rider meeting is mandatory. We've gotten a lot of questions about what to wear. If you're riding, definitely wear cycling clothes. If you're not, feel free to wear an evening gown. You'll find Carol Frank at Rest Stop 3 in an evening gown. Um, <laughs> rest Stop 2, excuse me. At lunch, evening gown. So tomorrow, please wear the official Tour de Pink jersey that you got in your bags today. On Saturday, if you're a part of a team, feel free to wear your team jerseys or any other jersey you'd like on Saturday. On Sunday, if your jersey from tomorrow doesn't stink too badly, please wear your official jersey. You can uh, rinse it out, or you can wear another Tour de Pink jersey that you have. And I think that is all I have. Oh, and the other thing is, um, there's going to be videos of the ride. So I encourage everybody to make sure that everybody who isn't here knows what we're doing. Uh, on the Young Survival Coalition YouTube channel will be videos from every day and every night. So go there, circulate them, put them on Facebook, put them on Twitter, send them out by email. Make sure that people know that these things are available because that's how we are also going to spread the word about this ride. Because while we're fundraising and while we're having a good time, it's also to let people know about YSC, let women know that we exist, and so that they can find us when they're going through their journey. And I think that is it. Just so just toast to everybody who is here and everybody who isn't here and who can't ride and have an amazing weekend. Thank you, everybody. And now we're going to ask Robin, is Robin and John, are you here to, here's John, we're going to do some uh, logistics for tomorrow, which everybody needs to hear. And this is your route director, so if you don't like the route, um, probably don't tell John because he doesn't care. Thank you. You're welcome. I like the route. <laughs> and just in case you haven't uh, figured it out, you're not in Iowa. <laughs> Okay, um, tomorrow, at, at let, let's just do very briefly, we'll, we'll have the meeting at 7.30, I'll give you um, more information than you want to know then, but the important thing for you to know that tomorrow morning you're going to have breakfast, uh, I think it's at 6.30, yeah, 6.30, at 7.30 we'll have the meeting. Your luggage should be down on 12th, uh, 12th and Filbert. Almond, Filbert, Filbert, one of those nuts. Um, luggage has to be there. Now, at 8.15, once you give them your luggage, they are tougher than the airlines. You ain't getting it back. Okay, Jill? <laughs> oh, good, good. I can really insult her now, right? She's not here? That's even more fun. Okay, listen, no, really. You should be dressed to ride over to the start line as you bring the bag down. You can bring the bag down, go up in your cycling shoes. I don't care how you want to work that out, but you've got to give them your bags. Then you're going to get on your bikes and go over to the start. We're going to try to start the, the ride at 9 o'clock. And, and I'm going to ask you to cooperate as much as possible because we only have a short window to get out of town. We've been asked to leave town. <laughs> and we have a very brief window. And the Schuylkill River Trail, which you all are going to enjoy because there are absolutely no climbs or hills on it. <laughs> we'll get you later. Uh, 
Uh, you're gonna enjoy. You're gonna enjoy it. But you, you, we can't have everybody leave all at one time. So we're gonna, we're gonna have you. Uh, I'll call it, for the lack of a better term, spit you out in twos and threes real quickly, real rapidly. But we can't just do a big mass start because it is narrow and uh, does not uh, would, would not accommodate all of us. Because this is absolutely the most amazing turnout that we have had thus far. Is that not correct? And I think if uh, my math doesn't uh, fail me, you will uh, cumulatively cover approximately 50,000 miles in the next three days. And um, think about how much money you have raised for the most worthwhile cause for the Young Survival Coalition. So let's just all uh, get up, get up, have breakfast, get ready, have your bikes ready. Go down, go down and have breakfast. Go back up, do what you have to do. Uh, meeting is at 7.30. Get your luggage down to the truck. Mike and, and those of you who have been with us in the past know that Mike and Brian and Danny and uh, uh, we now have Ralph with us and, and uh, let's see who else. That's, uh, that's about it. Those guys are going to take care of your luggage for you. They'll go through it and check it out. Make sure that it's, uh, there's, no, there's no money left over or any other hazardous uh, materials. So get, get your luggage down there, and once you leave the luggage, then we're going to, then what I want you to do, you can, you can go over by yourselves if you wish, or meet in the front of the hotel. I'll tell you, I, I will repeat this in the morning, but you meet in front of the hotel. We have six wonderful volunteers from a local bicycle organization who will uh, somewhat escort you over there. You can follow them over, but we're going to be in traffic. So in the morning, you got some traffic. You have a very, very short way to go. We're gonna get over there. I don't know. I think we have some um, some words from city officials or somebody like that. Basically, get out of town, and uh, uh, we'll go from there. Okay. See you in the morning. Thanks. Okay, that's it. Have a good time and enjoy yourselves. See everybody in the morning.